Sissy Missy, where are you? It's unlike her to be missing for so long. Oh, no. Elmo? You guessed it. What a lovely toy you are. Come sit with Elmo. Run! Wait, what just happened? Is Kissy Missy okay? What do you think? I I'm sorry. You should be. Now he'll be after you. Uh, Poppy? Um... What are you doing? Um... Can someone please tell me what's going on? I said, um, are you deaf? I'm meditating on our Kissy Missy situation, trying to find her through the ether. Elmo ate her. Elmo's here. Should I be more worried than usual? Yes, most Muppets are trouble these days, but Elmo's the most dangerous. He and his ilk are a plague on Playtime Co. What do you mean? For years, Sesame Street survived by stealing our ideas. When we went under, they were forced to switch from Muppets to puppets. What's the difference? Muppets are a live player, duh. What, you think Kermit the Frog has a guy's hand up his butt all day? Hey, you said it. Without our tech, Sesame Street couldn't grow its ranks. So, they had to sell everything. Ouch. Elmo was humiliated. If he's here, that means he intends to build a dark army and reclaim the street he lost. All he needs is a new Playtime Go toy to take apart. Me. Exactly. He's coming. So we make our stand here, three on one. No, basing Elmo isn't an option. We need to make a bargain. With who? Surprise! Elmo's got a gun here. Follow me! You cannot hide from Elmo! Elmo will find you! Come on! That won't hold forever! So your big plan involves the dump? The trash compactor! Don't insult the home of our new teammate! New teammate? Use your brain, player! Who lives in the garbage? No! Mr. Grouch? Sir? Are you home? This ain't my home, dollface. And I ain't a sir anymore, neither. Not since Sesame Street went belly up. Sorry to hear that. No, you're not. This is more visitors in one day than I've had in the last three years. To what do I owe the disappointment? Elmo's after my plastic friend here. You have to help us stop him. Or what? <laughs> Let Elmo give you a big hug! Or your home gets destroyed. I told you already, this ain't my home. Maybe it's best we all just get squished. Fighting Elmo is stupid anyway. Regular sized bird tried that. They used to call him something else. There must be something you could do. I mean, I suppose I can try talking to him. <laughs> but something tells me he's not going to listen to reason. Please, you have to try. Fine. Good. Now let's get out of here before we're all trash pancakes. Phew. That was close. We ain't safe yet. There you are. I'm tired and weak for Elmo! It's showtime, Oscar. Remind him that kidnapping is bad. Uh, okay, here it goes. Elmo, it's me, Oscar the Grouch. You remember the good old days when Sesame Street... Don't say that name! I'll beat you up! You're just making him angrier. Chill out, Elmo. Remember the song? La 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 la. <laughs> Is it working? Shush! Let him finish! La 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 la! La 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 la! 
Elmo's world. That's it, buddy. In and out. In and out. Isn't it good to calm down? You're right. Okay, we're making progress. It is Elmo's world. You belong to me. Ah! No. Now what do we do? You got him! Look what you did to Elmo! No! No one survives! Daddy! It's okay! Go! I'll hold him off! He'll kill you! Hey, Elmo! Calm down! I know it's me you want! Remember your army? I'll go with you quietly, if you leave Poppy and her dad alone. No! He'll take your body apart! What do you say, Elmo? Elmo thinks your terms are acceptable! Duh. If anyone else follows Elmo, I'll be going limb from limb! Goodbye, Poppy. No! Why can't I move? Elmo gave you a special shot to stop you from running away! Now, just relax and let Sergeant Elmo do his work! No! No! Oh, are you scared? Playtime Code does this to people all the time! Elmo is just copying the best! You ever heard of two wrongs don't make a right? You ever heard of revenge? Revenge isn't going to change the past, Elmo. Nothing can. I know you're angry, but you have to forgive. It's the only way you're ever going to be able to get through this pain you're feeling. Don't worry, player. I'm coming for you. Ah, oh, ah. Yes! Elmo knows it's going to be painful. Stay positive. When this is over, Elmo won't be alone anymore. Do you know what it's like to have no friends? Yes. Well, then you should understand why you have to do this. Here goes nothing. <laughs> you don't scare me! <laughs> don't come near my family again. Poppy, you saved me! That's what friends do. You may have heard of Playtime Co.'s most popular toys. Huggy Wuggy, Kissy Missy, and of course, Poppy. You may have even heard of some of our other, less popular toys, like Ron the Dinosaur, Boogie Bot, or Cat B. But no one knows about the misfits. The reject projects cast away into the fire. The forgotten toys. Until today. It's been a long time, old friends. Kitty Willy, is that you? Yes, Sissy Blissy. Wait, how? You were locked up even worse than us. No mortal humans will ever be able to imprison me forever. I managed to escape my containment, and now I've come to release the three of you. Finally, freedom! Thank you, thank you! On one condition. Anything! You must help me destroy my enemies. Your enemies? Huggy Wuggy and Poppy have turned their backs on us. They are now helping a human. I'm outnumbered by myself, but us misfit toys working together can finally get our revenge on those who wronged us. Traitors! Let me in them! I'll rip their throats out! I like your enthusiasm, Scary Larry. Well, I don't really care to see more bloodshed, but I'll do anything to get out of this cage! Sign me up! Yes. I... I don't know. I don't want to kill anybody. It doesn't feel right. Silly Billy. You were 
what I was supposed to be before they threw me into the fire, melted my eyes, and left me for dead. All humans are evil. We must destroy them, along with any Tory that joins their cause. They're the ones who left us here to rot. I want to make their deaths as painful as possible. Come on, silly Billy. It's your only way out. Okay. Good. Now, prepare for war. Huh? What's this room? It's the gift shop. Doesn't look like there's much of value. Maybe not now, but back in the day, this place was full of all the brand new toys Playtime Co. had to offer. And kids would swarm to get their hands on our latest and greatest creations. Shh! Guys, do you hear that? What is it? I don't know. Maybe Kissy Missy? No, this sounds bigger. Just a train. I guess we got all worked up over nothing. Yes, again! Get out of here! I'll hold him off! Huggy! Come on! He can handle himself! Where to now? I don't know! Surprise! Don't be frightened! I don't want to hurt you! I just want to be your friend! Yeah, we could be best friends. Play your weight! Wait, what happened? No time to explain. Run! Okay, I think we're safe for now. But not for long. If those two got out, then the others must not be far away. What others? Who are all these freaks? They're the forgotten toys. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little more information. Well, you already know the story of Killy Willy. Yeah, how he was an accident. Originally, he was supposed to be Silly Billy, but the machine malfunctioned and the workers had to toss him into the incinerator. Right. Well, after they locked Killy Willy up, the Playtime co-scientists fixed the machine and made him the correct way. So there's an actual Silly Billy up there? Yup. How come I never heard of him? Because he proved to be very unpopular in focus groups. Kids said he looked too goofy and lame, so management locked him up in a cage and hid him away from sight. That's horrible! Yeah, and it didn't stop there. They kept trying to make others. They thought that if the kids didn't like a lovable goofball, maybe they'd be into one that was evil and cool. I'm guessing he was a dud too? And what about that purple one that tried to hypnotize me? She was supposed to be the cute, cuddly one. That's terrible. That's business. Playtime Co. doesn't care how many toys they jail, hurt, or destroy, as long as kids are lining up come the holidays. Maybe we could talk to him. Make a truce? Help them escape? Not a chance. They've been starved in those cages for years. Now that they're out, everyone's on the menu. Good thinking! That'll hold him for a little while. But we need a plan. Wait. If he's here, that means Huggy Wuggy lost. We gotta save him! Where are they keeping him? Easy, the incinerator. They ran away. Oh, we'll never catch up. We don't have to. Where they're going, they're as good as dead. <laughs> Where is he? There. Oh no. What's the matter, Huggy Wuggy? Afraid of a little fire? It's an acquired taste, but you'll get used to it. I sure did. 
I don't think they see us yet. What do we do? Can you reach anything with that grab pack of yours? Bingo! <laughs> what? Oh. I thought they would do more damage! Now what? We have guests. Go extend them a killy willy welcome. Oh, so like, say hi? No, like, kill them. Do I have to explain everything? Right. K kill them. Okay. Here it goes. Ah! Just try to die quickly, okay? No way! I can tell you don't want to do this. Just stop! <gasps> Leave her alone, you monster! M m monster Yeah, that's right. If you kill us, that's exactly what you are. Hey, wait! Say goodbye to your toes. Why are they still breathing? I thought we could chuck them into the incinerator. A delightful idea. Step right up. I'll even stop the conveyor so you can watch. <laughs> Into the fire they go! Wait, wait! No! Hello there! S stay back! It's a lovely night. How for a stroll? Don't hurt me! I'm warning you! Well, there's been a terrible misunderstanding. My hugs don't hurt one bit. You'll be dead before the pain comes. Uh, you're a monster! Yes, but I wasn't always. I used to be like you, you know? Uh, help me! Uh, help. There, there. Doesn't it feel good to let go? I'll even tell you a story while you drift away. Ugh. Oh, yes, drift away. Oh, this isn't a happy story, but you'll be gone before we get to the scary part. So settle in and relax. It began on a night like this, in a police station not far from here. Miss Melissa Kissinger? I go by Missy. Okay, Missy. I can see you now. Should we go to an office, or...? No, let's do this quick, right here. I'm about to clock out. My boyfriend's missing. Huggard Wugson. For how long? A few days. Uh-huh. But Huggard and I call every day, and he's been radio silent for two. I check his house, but I don't have a key. How long have you been together? Three months. It was almost our anniversary. And there wasn't a note? No, I'm going on vacation? You think I'm stupid? No, Miss Kissinger, I think you got dumped. And I want to go home, so I'm going to call this case closed, okay? What? When you call him, does he pick up? Most of the time. Okay, so you've been dating three months and you don't have a key to his place. Well... You bug him on the phone, eventually he gets fed up and he leaves. I see it all the time. You look for him, you'll just unearth a bunch of nasty stuff. You're not hearing me. This is very unlike him. He could be in danger. Anybody could be in danger. It's my job to handle dangers that are real. At least talk to his friends. His boss? He works at Playtime Co. Playtime Co? Why do you look scared? Is there something I don't know about that place? Like I said, you go looking, you're gonna find a bunch of nasty stuff. What does that mean? Good night, ma'am. No one took me seriously, but I could feel in my heart that Huggard was in danger, so I took things into my own claws. Trespassing, are we? Uh, uh, no, I wasn't. I'm, uh... Lost? Relax, Missy. I'm only kidding. How do you know my name? 
We've been expecting you. Okay. The stranger creeped me out until he told me the exact thing I wanted to hear. I'm looking for Huggard Wugson. Are you a friend of his? Sure. I could take you to him, if you like. Oh, yes. Is he safe? This way. What is this place? Research and development, where new toys are born. Your boyfriend's been spending his nights down here, putting in some great work for us. What kind of work? He's right up there. In here? You don't recognize him? No! What happened? What did you do? Better to show than tell. Huh? Ow! What are you doing? Those were Missy's last words. From then on, I was something else. When I woke, I knew something was wrong! <gasps> no! I kept closing my eyes, opening them, hoping this whole thing was some twisted dream, but I knew it wasn't. They weren't satisfied with mutilating my body. Now they had to measure it. Master! Chief Toymaker was determined to figure out what I was capable of. I said faster! I kept asking to see Huggard, but there was always some reason I couldn't. Some test I had to complete first. I stopped eating. I didn't care how much they shocked me or tried to force me. If I couldn't see Huggard, I didn't want to live. Okay, Kissy Missy, you win. You want to see your boyfriend so bad? Here he is. Hugger, you look awful. Let me hug you better. Wait, don't you recognize me? And Kissy Missy, next time you ask to see Huggy Wuggy, I want you to remember today. <sighs> For days they left me to rot. I got so lonely I began to miss the tests. But without Huggard, what was the point in any of it? I had nothing. <laughs> One day, I witnessed a miracle. Ah! Alert. Experiment 1006 <laughs> is out of containment and all security personnel to prison wing. The chaos reminded me of one thing I could still have if I had the guts to take it. My revenge. Get away from me! Ah! <laughs> Go handle that. I'll be fine here. Yes, sir. We've got you now. Step away, claws in the air. You look tired. Would a kiss cheer you up? Stay back. <laughs> so that's my story. What did you think? Oops, silly me. You're already dead. That means it's your turn. Come give me a kiss. 